I still remember it was Monday, March 10. That was the birthday of my mom and also the last day of school. Then, it continued until March 12, when it started lockdown. And personally for me, the lockdown had both good sides and bad sides. And, of course, the good side would be, I think, it can relate here to my students and my students. There's no need to go, you don't need to sleep in the morning, you don't need to sleep in the morning so you can go to school. Like, you had your own time to do school works. And the bad side would be that, of course, you don't have a job, you don't have to see your friends, your friends. And of course, one of the biggest bad side of this is that it was a global pandemic. And then, everyone was affected. From economically to individually, and everyone was really affected. And of course, one of the things I thought was affected there is, first of all, the church. Siyempre, ang church sanay tayo na pumupunta tayo doon, nakikita natin, harap-harapan yung pastor natin, we can interact, di ba? Pero ngayon, it was a different thing kasi ang kaharap mo is yung screen and pinapanood mo sila and nasanay ako na after ng school or after ng um, mga activities, pupunta sa church para mag-practice, para mag-perform, para magpuri sa Panginoon. Pero ngayon, you have to resolve to um, just listening and watching sa sa phones or sa TV or sa laptop para mapanood yung mga Sunday service and jams. And, syempre, may mga ganun naman talaga sa ibang church. Pero dito para sa church natin, it was a whole new thing and everything really, everything and everyone needed to adjust. And kahit yung mga, uh, mga nanunood, kailangan din mag-adjust. And para sa akin, mas gugustuhin ko pa rin talaga yung harap-harapan and harap-harapan na uh, nagpupuri sa Panginoon kaysa sa screen lang kasi feeling ko mas dama ko pa rin yun and mas mas nararamdaman ko yung Panginoon pag talagang nandun ako sa lugar na yun pero it doesn't mean naman na hindi, hindi ko nadadama yung Panginoon kahit sa screen lang it's just my preference then and another um, thing affected by the pandemic is syempre yung family yung family ko um, yung tatay ko yung business namin so hindi man kami affected like um, agad agad dahil nga syempre Um, sila yung nagpo-provide sa amin, kami, kami. Um, kailangan na namin mag-aral, kumain, maligo, yung basic stuffs lang sa bahay. So, hindi man kami affected noon, alam ko pa rin yung struggle ng parents ko. And of course, I'm affected by it. Kasi, syempre, sino ba naman gusto na nahihirapan or nasistress na yung parents mo, di ba? So, and one thing na affected is yung sarili ko, for me. Dahil, syempre, ang dami ako nakikita online na nahihirapan daw sila kasi nga yung iba nagkaka-stress, nagkaka-anxiety, nagkaka-depression dahil sa pandemic kasi syempre, it's a new thing and lahat ng negative thoughts pwede mong maisip kasi na yung takot mo, na yung safety mo sa pandemic, sa sakit and yung syempre yung stuck ka sa bahay na hindi ka sanay na ganun yun nga, ayun sa akin yun, parang hindi ako sanay na nandito lang ako sa bahay and na nandito lang ako pabalik-balik na lang ako sa apat na sulok ng bahay namin Um, ako parang naramdaman ko yung yung stress or naramdaman ko yung um, negativity na pumasok sa isip ko and na lumago yun and na mas nag-elevate yun and it actually kind of consumed me until syempre naisip ko rin na why would I look at these negative things kung ang dami namang positive things na pwede tingnan for me, kahit na nandito tayo sa um, bahay lang natin hindi makalabas na or kahit na dito lang kahit na hindi na natin magawa yung mga nagagawa natin dati i still think that we still have that freedom freedom in a sense na you have a choice you have a choice kung pipiliin mo pa um, na gamitin tong pandemic kung to at hayaan mo kainin ka ng negative thoughts mo or mas pipiliin mo ba na just stay optimistic and um, gamitin mo tong um, struggle na to para mas tumatag ka pa And for me, no una, syempre, I was consumed by the negativity, by the stress, and um, by all of this of what's happening around um, the world. And syempre, nayaan ko sarili kong makain noon, and nag-struggle ako, nahirapan ako. But then eventually, nung napansin ko na parang 
bakit ko inahayain yung sarili ko na maisip tong mga thoughts na to, na maramdaman to, kung meron namang sagot all along, meron namang positive side, meron namang choice, and that choice, that proper choice, is God. Na nung naisip ko yun, o oh, nga no, I know na, syempre, mahihirapan tayo lahat. Ako, nahihirapan ako. And ang dami pa ibang tao na nahihirapan. Pero it always starts with you. Yun ang naisip ko na, it always starts with you. Kung mas pipiliin mo bang sundan yung path ni God, na sundan yung word niya, or mas pipiliin mo sundin yung sarili mo na um, mas isipin mo pa at hayaan mo makonsume ka ng negative thoughts na yun. Diba? So, I try, I uh, followed God and naisip ko na, God though, Nahihirapan man po kami lahat ngayon, though um, we're experiencing this, I know na meron kang nakalaan na um, future para sa amin na if we trust your plan, um, we're, we're gonna, kaya namin lampasan tong mga problema na to. And uh, because I um, trusted him and because I chose him, I, I ch um, yung freedom ko na of choosing ginamit ko at para sa kanya, mas darap naman ko na Though ang dami mang problema, ang dami mang paghihirap na nangyayari ngayon, hindi ka nag-iisa. Though ang dami mang um, tao na nagsastruggle ngayon, hindi ka nag-iisa and na merong pangako na pwede mong, um, pwede mong kapitan. Pwede, my hope and faith was there. So, I'm not saying that because of that, ngayon hindi na ako nagsastruggle. Of course, we're still there. We're still struggling. It's a new school and especially ngayon na online classes. Pero, just by um, having self-reflection, ikaw sa sarili mo, iisipin mo, pipiliin mo kung ano yung paniniwalaan mo at paninindigan mo. Malaking-malaking bagay na yun para sa'yo. Malaking bagay na yun na matulungan yung sarili mo, lalo na ngayon sa um, new normal at sa pandemic natin. And one best choice is always to choose God. Na sa lahat mo ng paghihirap mo or kahit na sa mga masasayang bagay, you always choose Him. May mga times, syempre, na may hirapan talaga tayo. May mga times na parang blurred na lahat na parang hindi mo na napapansin si God kasi nararamdaman mo na lang lahat ng negativity and lahat ng mga um, paghihirap. But then, just always try to seek out to Him. Just always try to um, know Him again. Kausapin mo siya. Mag-break sa Kanya. Devotion. And syempre, um, if you want, you could listen again to the um, recordings sa church natin. Na, and just always try to seek Him para hindi ka makonsume ng mga negativity nito. Kasi sa pandemic kong ito, I think um, bukod sa virus mismo, kalaban rin natin is yung sarili natin. Kung ano yung magiging response natin dito, kung paano natin iha-handle tong situation na to. And if, if you handle it na hayaan mo lang yung mga negative na bagay yung mag-lead sa'yo, masisira ka talaga. But if you handle it, na ibigay mo tong buhay mo or ibigay mo yung um, yung negative thoughts mo kay God and just let Him consume your mind and your heart. Alam, malalaman mo na this is just one part of your life and nakakayanin mo to all throughout. Kakayanin mo to and one day matatapos lang to. This pandemic will end. And it's always a choice kung pipiliin mo ba na ispend tong oras na to na meron pang pandemic ko na hayaan mo lang na just let um, the negative thoughts consume you, na lumayo ka pa lalo kay God, or spend mo tong pandemic ng to na um, further strong, strengthen your um, relationship with God and also to further um, yung sarili mo, mas enhance mo pa, mas pagalingin mo pa, explore new hobbies, and just think positively all throughout. And ayun nga, for me, um, it's always the person's choice, but it is always better to choose the right choice. And that is to always choose God and choose um, the path or the plan He has for you.